when I found out I made the team, I was so excited and uh, we just started planning everything because we were like, oh my God, this is gonna happen. Nine-year-old Knox is the youngest member of the World Performers Canada team. His longtime teacher, Sarah Sardoni, recalls his first dance class. I've been working with Knox since he started at age two. So he started in superhero hip hop class. <laughs> I can remember uh, we did Superman that year, had the cutest little costume and recital, and the rest is history. Knox is very special with how he moves um, and just with how he feels the music. I think that he he feels it in a different way than some other kids and you know when he gets on stage it's not just about technique for him. I think he's been super successful because he just he just dances. It's not just about steps. He just really feels that and dances from the heart. He joined the Dream Center's competitive dance team two years later at four. I went to my first dance competition. I just felt like, oh, this is super fun. I love it. Okay, we need to do this again. Now he dances every day. This year, to help fine tune his favorite genre, he began training at the Oakville School of Ballet as well. He's excited to be heading to the Dance World Cup in Spain this summer. It's an awesome opportunity for kids literally from all over Canada to get together and be on a team together. You meet new people, the kids get to dance with kids they've never danced with before. And actually going with the team in 2018, I went to Spain with WBC and I also went to Portugal in 2019. You just get to see how different countries interpret dance and the art of dance and the different genres and how everybody comes together and celebrates dance. The team doesn't typically take younger dancers, but Sarah believes Knox is up to the challenge. I would say that they probably saw something very special in Knox, like I see in him, and you know, decided to go for it. So I know it's, it's a challenge for Knox to be on the children's team and, and dancing with kids who are much older, um, but also a great experience for him to learn and grow as a dancer. He will be competing in five group dances, two solos, and one duet. Sometimes I'm nervous, but sometimes I'm super, super excited to come on stage and dance for other people and entertain them. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.